Hello friends, uh, as you all know that there are many mutations of zebra finches available. Uh, the many breeders find it very difficult to predict the chicks uh, from a particular pair, to, uh, to determine the mutation of the chicks that they might get from a particular pair or to develop a particular mutation, it will be very difficult. So I'm going to show you a simple application that might help you. Uh, its name is Zebra Calc. You can search that on Google Play Store. Uh, this is the application. As you can see that uh, it's it's a it's a recent application and it has many frequent update. It is updated frequently. Uh, it's very simple to use. Uh, if you are uh, if you are not using an Android phone or if you want to use this on a PC. We can just go to a browser and just type in zebra calc zebra calc and just search for that in google uh, of course or any search engine okay Th there you have it the first link you you, uh, you that see here see there zebra calc dot fire firebase app dot com that's the link that you want to click okay this is the web version of our uh, app uh, if you are using an iOS device or if you want to use that on an Android device that doesn't support this application you can just go to a web version <coughs> through any browser okay uh, I'm just going to uh, open the uh, app that I have installed on my mobile okay you can see that uh, we have opened the app uh, sorry for that uh, okay we have open the app now okay you can see that uh, there are three there are menu bars on each side of that the left one goes for the male and right one goes for the female uh, and okay so the mutations are divided into three categories they are recessive dominant and uh, sex linked uh, okay let's go with an example if your bird is a white choose white uh, you can see that the white is just below the green line if it's split to white you can see that the split to white characters go below the orange line uh, that's how we determine the splits and non splits okay pures will be below the green line and splits will be below the orange line okay oh, let's do go with an example okay okay the male is white and female is um, let's say what to choose dominant recess okay so let it be a normal female okay you can see that the chicks here are males and females will be normals and you can see that in the varieties it shows split to white eh? after the slash we can see white so it means that the bird is split to white so let's continue with this okay so dominant okay let's bring in a dominant character okay you can see that the male is now crested you can see below the green line that it's a crested uh, crested male and the female I am choosing the female as uh, what to go for okay okay orange breasted orange black cheek okay orange breast okay no okay it's it's female is a black cheek so what to expect from this pair we have crested black face crested crested split to to uh, white and black cheek crested split to to uh, whites crested split to black face and all type of stuff you can see there okay if you want to add uh, any other mutations okay black face crested mm, then any other okay split to white okay then then if, okay you can see that all the combinations that are there you can see the dominant mutations on the left uh, and the split mutations on this uh, after the slash okay uh, we can predict number of we can uh, scroll to the next pages by clicking the next button that's available on the uh, bottom of the results uh, and you can see all, all, all the possible outcomes that may occur while uh, pairing these two birds the pairing to two of these birds with these particular mutations okay we are seeing all this okay when we, if we press on the toggle display and re reload that's that have what happens is that uh, it's it comes to normal okay you don't have to use that when you're anything
okay when if you press the toggle button you can see that uh, the split uh, uh, you can see that menu bar have changed a bit uh, it's it's uh, complicated uh, like this so use the normal way don't use the toggle toggle one okay then then what is the next thing okay okay if you want to uh, use any other mutations like cfws or something you should go to the sex linked area okay sex linked area mm -hmm. okay this if you put a personal male and a normal female that's what you get okay sex linked okay sex link you can see light back pastel light back mm, there's no pastel light backs so moving on light backs pastel cfw okay you can see that uh, the results uh, pastels split to two light back light backs pastels mm, okay cfws okay cfw split cfw okay that's cfw pastel uh, with a paired with a normal female that's what you get okay that's a, a pure cfw blue and a normal female that's what you get and okay the many mutations are in sex link you know so if you want to go with any mutations like uh, cfws you should use the sex linked one uh, okay we have the splits and uh, of uh, the splits of the sex linked are also included in that area uh, okay so that's that's it folks that's about uh, zebra calc uh, hope you guys understand what it's all about and i hope that helps you a lot okay thank you